If you had told me a month ago that I'd be at 9,000 feet above Snowmass Village digging fossils in mid-November, I would have said you were crazy. But then Jesse Steele, the bulldozer driver, found a beautiful mammoth skeleton, which is over in that tent, and we started working. And here we are, November, 9,000 feet, snow mass, in the snow, digging fossils. Just below me is a spot where we pulled out a beautiful mastodon tusk two days ago. And we dug down to get that tusk out, and the water filled into the hole. So we had to cut a little drainage ditch, and in cutting the drainage ditch, we found a beautiful humerus of a mastodon. And then we kept digging and we found several of the ankle and leg bones. So the next morning that hole filled up with water. We cut a drainage ditch to fill that to drain that one. And we found ribs and other bones of mastodons and the jaw of a deer. So now that we're really working this site hard. You can see everybody digging behind me. We're going to keep digging here until we're off the site. This morning we found a beautiful tooth of a giant ground sloth. So this site just continues to produce amazing fossils. We're going to dig here as long as we can before the snow pushes us off. Also this morning, we got some results back from the radiocarbon lab, which gives us some idea of how old these fossils actually are. And the dates from this site show that these fossils are more than 40,000 years old. So now we're starting to get a really good idea of when this ecosystem was around and how old these animals are.